More judges are taking unique approaches to sentencing. For example, York County has four specialized courts, including one for DUI offenders. Today, we talked with a Philadelphia judge who's also thinking outside the box and outside the traditional courtroom. The courtroom of Judge Paul Penapinto is in Philadelphia, but his creative approach to administering justice has been imitated by others all over the country. Take, for example, his approach to deadbeat dads. Other judges might decide to put them in jail for non-payment. Well, I don't think that's always fair because maybe the job, the economy went sour, maybe dad was paying child support, and now he's out of work. In Philly, they've decided to help those fathers sharpen their interviewing skills, and then they host a job fair right there in the courthouse. You know, it's worked wonders. People really uh, understand that rather than throwing someone in jail, we are providing a solution to the problem. And then there's Panapinto's approach to dealing with truancy. He says it's a big problem that is best solved by getting the community involved. Instead of bringing the kids to court, they set up a court in the schools and work with the student to try to get them back into the classroom. We'd identify the problems that these kids had. And we try to solve the problems there in the courthouse that was developed in the school. Judge Panapinto says that if the student persists in missing school, they'll then be brought into the regular courthouse. But he thinks the kids like to talk about the issues that are keeping them from school. He cited one instance where a student skipped school because he needed glasses and couldn't afford them. But the truancy problem, there's a lot of issues. Uh, just not having a parent around to get up to go to school or having a parent leave earlier. The kid doesn't show up in school. Why is that happening? and a lot of people are catching on. They are. I think it's a good thing that he's doing. Well, a family's watchdog is being hailed a hero 